During his pitch on reopening schools in the fall, the state's education commissioner made some big claims about COVID-19 and how it may or may not affect kids. So we decided to run those claims through the New 6 Trust Index. New 6 investigator Lewis Bolden shows us what we learned. When announcing that Florida schools will reopen in full capacity in August, Florida's Education Commissioner Richard Corcoran made this comment about children and coronavirus. They are not at a low risk. They are at an extremely low risk, not only of contracting it, but even spreading it. All of that data is in. Is there any data out there that shows that children are at an extremely low risk of contracting this virus? I don't think there's specific data that I've seen that show that they're at extremely low risk. Dr. Jenna Wheeler is a pediatric critical care physician at Arnold Palmer Hospital. But I think that especially, you know, here in the United States, we need a little more time to be looking at that data before we can say that with certainty. According to data from the Florida Department of Health, there have been 3,407 cases of coronavirus in children ages 0 to 17. There have also been 103 hospitalizations in that age group, but no deaths. Is one of the reasons we're we're seeing the lower um, rates of children contracting the virus is because children have not been at school. We've done a very good job of keeping our kids home. You know, schools have been out, daycares have been closed, and so children really haven't had as much of an exposure risk, presumably, as adults have. Dr. Michael Keating is chief medical officer at Advent Health for Children. Symptomatically, it's not sure whether they're any less uh, prone to be actually infected, but they appear to be much less prone to get ill. But like with any illness, there's always some kids that are going to get sick and they're going to get seriously ill. Based on state data and two independent statements from pediatricians, we give the education commissioner's comments that children are at extremely low risk of contracting coronavirus. <laughs> be careful on the trust index. All of the medical professionals we've spoken with all agree that masks reduce transmission rates. They believe everyone should wear them, even children, but they do admit it's more difficult to get kids to wear them. Reporting downtown Orlando, I'm Lewis Bolden, getting results, News 6.